What is that? Yeah. Oh, it's just recording. It's just that. Records um, me. Is it? Don't, don't worry about it. Just. <laughs> It's just that I want to hear your own words, and uh, I can't oh. take short hands. It's no good if I just take Well, I might meditate or something. <laughs> oh, don't worry about it. Well, but um, the, your father was... Uh, just still the class, He's right? God the Tessa, mm. yes. I should be 14. And yeah. we, well, we, were, we had 12 soldiers billeted with us. Where were you living at the time? At the castle. Where's that? Uh, where about in the castle? Castle. No, where in, about in the castle. In the house. I just haven't seen the house. Haven't we been up there, actually. Yeah. Yes. And um, we had 12 soldiers visiting with us. Well, my sister, Madge, she used to do all the cooking and she had some fish cooking on the fire. There was no gas, mm. no electricity, no anything. We just had to cook on the fire and everything. And there was a boiler that used to heat the water to start the fire. Yes. And uh, there was a Coast Guard station over near the edge of the mm. field, the cliff, in the big field. And uh, it would be well, about eight-ish in the morning. And um, one of they came running over, I talked to him and said, Pick up! It was my father's name. Mm. And we were his pickups, of course. And uh, they came dashing over and said, Pick up! Get out! The Germans are here. These are the, the soldiers said that, though? Yes, the Germans are here. He says, Get out! As quick as you can. And um, I was in bed in a, a sort of a, an attic, as you might say, and this roof was sort of sloping where the bed yeah. came under. And of course, I flew downstairs. My other sister was in the other bed. We all went downstairs. We hadn't time to get a rag on. I mm. was in my nightdress. Yes. Uh, and um, the barbecue gate, took, there are two hills, you see. <coughs> you come down one hill and you won't know it, there are big gates called Barbican Gates, and there was a sentry box just inside where a soldier that were locked at night. Yes. And this soldier used to keep the key. Mm. However, we all ran down. Um, my other sister that died, she, all she put on was a coat out of nothing. I was in my bare feet, just my nightdress, and out of nothing at all. And running down the hill, there was, in those days, there was a policeman called P.C. Hunter. And he was crawling up on the, up the hill like this, on his hands and knees, and he put his arm out. And he said, keep going, keep going, just like that. So, of course, we kept going. And as I saw him, I turned around behind, and my mother was coming hmm. behind me for quite a while. She went to go back and said, Mother, come along, come along. She said, I'm going back for Douglas's photograph. That was my brother that had died, but she wanted to take that with her, you see. Anyway, I waited at the Barbican gate for Mother coming, and there were three soldiers, the three that were billeted with us. Mm. They were standing at these gates, and one of them took his scarf off for me to stand on, because I was in my bare feet and everything. And anyway, when Mother eventually joined us, we all ran, all we kept on doing was running mm. and came meeting people dashing out. And there's a woman who came out with a pallet cake in her arm, and uh, another one with a Christmas cake, and things were, you know, just with hardly any clothes on at all. Yes. <coughs> and eventually, we kept on running and running. We didn't know where we were going to, everybody was careless. And we got as far as Aberdeen Walk this end of Aberdeen Walk, and there was a cafe called Irwin's, it was it's a very old established firm, and uh, they said, come in, come in, and we went in, and they made us a cup of tea, and they were sort of, you know, as you can please, maybe. and before, a little later on, they gave us all clothes, and of course it's abated, it was only on for about just over half an hour. Yes. And uh, we went um, <coughs> back home, I think, towards tea time. And um, all over my, the top of my bed, the roof was, was all on my pillow, half of the roof. Bricks yes. and all filthy stuff, you know. However, we had a pet donkey. It was mm. with Topsy, a pet donkey that used to live in the field. And it had the sense to come into the house 
and it had been hit with shrapnel. That in the centre of its back. So of course we had to have it restored. Well, the barracks was terribly, it was, oh, we never remember soldiers being there at all, all the time my father was up there. But it was called the barracks, so years before, you see, they used to have troops in. That was, well, was, I don't know if you've seen the pictures of it. Yes, I've seen them. Yes. Well, um, the same night, the next day rather, we all went to Leeds to my aunties. We didn't. We were confused. We didn't know what to do, whether we were coming back or what. So we went there and stayed there for a week. But going back to the castle, the the castle itself was hit in two places. Mm. And as I stood with these soldiers at the bottom of the the uh, outside the barbican gates, as they were called, I saw the breach hit the wall. And of course, it's tremendous. It's still there, as far as I know. Uh, who and it all went up in flames. We certainly ran it in the night. And of course, we were, we were just frantic, you see. We just stood there and to be in us, well, it would have been as well yes. it happened not to be. And um, as I say, when uh, we went to Leeds, we stayed there for a week and came back, and of course, it all sort of we got settled down again. Mm. But it was all on yeah. my bed. How many of them were Well, um, there was. Uh, you, my sister Hilda that died, my sister Doris, and myself, four of us, mm. mother and father. Where was father? He was, but he, he stayed, he didn't go to Leeds. He yeah. stayed, you see. What did he do during the bombardment? Uh, well, he just um, came with us mm. and then went back early, you see, mm. to see what had happened because it stopped. And as we got clothes given at this cafe, just, you know, coats and little things to put on, I can't just remember the, what they were like yeah. now. And um, we stood at the end of Aberdeen Walk, at the, on the pavement rather, at the end, this end of Aberdeen Walk. And uh, there was, we saw, I saw the picture, it's in one of the papers, um, a scout boy that was laid with a sheet over him, it was just, you know, and a man came running down from Merryweather's, the grocer's above. Yes. Uh, his wife had been killed, and he was wet all over. I can remember every detail. That was Mr. Merryweather. That was Mr. Merryweather. And the woman that was with us, she lived at the Albion. She went and ran with us from the, <coughs> excuse me, the Albion Hotel. At the, at the, yes, it was the Albion then. It's just now, yes. there, Just at the corner here, the first one on mm. the right. And she ran with us, and she knew this Mr. Merriweather that had been killed. And um, we said hello, we used to call each other Ernie, you know, I don't know, Ernie. And he was absolutely covered in her, he was with her when she was killed. And then mm. outside the shop helping somebody in, I yes. think, with a helper. Mm. The Coast Guard had this hit as well. The Coast Guard and the cloak that hung, he'd taken it off his cloak and hung it up in the little Coast Guard station and it was all ripped and shrapnel, mm. all torn, but he hadn't it on, you see. Yes. Well, uh, I believe that the, the Coast Guard and uh, the big sea scouts had helped on. I believe they went and hid down one of the wells, didn't they, in the castle? Uh, that I wouldn't know. Uh, uh, there was only one well. There was only one? Only one well. Can you get inside? Oh, you? no. No, it's, it's an, it was in a ring like that. You look down, it was mm. 280 feet deep. Yes. The Dr. Stone down used to wait like that, and all of a sudden it just went boom yes. at the bottom. Um, mm. What were the soldiers guarding in the castle? Why was it locked up? Was that because of the Coast Guard? They weren't in the barracks. No, the... They, they used to come on duty periodically, you see. Yes. But they stayed with us. They're not... And then they used to go, so many went on to keep the Coast Guard company, I explained. Mm. And uh, so many were off duty were in our house. Yes. Yeah. Why did they lock the castle gate every night? Was that... Uh, now, that I wouldn't know, but did the visitors... Did the, any, well, anybody. Mm. You see, it's... They played, you see. Well, yeah. it was warm, though, man. Oh, yes. War time, and they, they, oh. the key was that size. But they were mm, huge. Now, I have some... Excuse me.
Today, isn't it? Yes, it is. It was a very, I think the wind yesterday was much colder there. Mm. Yes, it I was, was really. I've been, in the past few days, I've been caught out in three snowstorms. Oh, really? Well, out walking, yes. Mm. It's like I struggled all the way up um, Jacob's Mount oh, yeah, time, <laughs> to see the view. And as I turned around to look out to sea, yeah. great grey clouds was moving yes. across. Yes, and, uh, Within a few minutes, it was hailing. Yes, I came home about Jacob's Mount this morning. Yes. It was great big, heavy clouds. This is A museum. Yes. You see, my father was custodian, and he used to take the people round. He was guide mm. and describe the history yes, I of see. the castle, and that was a museum, and there were all relics, skulls, and uh, mm. all, all and sorts. Of yes. Guide by the Cromwellians. They were yes. original, all original. From, uh, I don't know where they are. But something I, I must ask, although I, I think I already know the answer already. Were there any guns on in the castle no, at no, the time? No. Because the reason I ask that is that uh, the Germans claimed that there were guns on no, the castle. No, they were not. They were not. And uh, also I've read different accounts of eyewitnesses who said that shortly after the Germans began firing, the British guns replied. Yeah. But were there any guns anywhere in the castle that you know? No. Because we were never prepared hmm. for anything like that. The only time, the only time I remember guns was when a zeppelin came over. Mm. Um, I forget the number. I did remember it. I'm sure I've forgotten it now. But the zeppelins came over, and um, we lived at the castle then. And we came down here to the people, and they put us in the garage. It was mm. dark, of course, down you know where they repair down here for safety. Yes. We, yes, and we went out to have a look, and it went across the sky. It, it was a picture, actually, to see it, like a long silver cigar. But it didn't drop any hair, but they had guns on the mount. On Oliver's mount? On Oliver's mount, and yes. they fired at that. But whether they hit it or not, I can't remember that. Yes, uh, but, you, but those weren't here during the, the early no. bombardment? No. no. They came later? No, no, there was nothing. We, there was no... Uh, um, uh, the one no rather than one so no, not one of those things. So. No, I see. So. Uh, so that's another one. That's a shot. Oh. Merryweathers, you see. That's Merryweathers. Where is Merryweather? No, I've been trying to get a copy of this thing. Well, because I, I bought, bought a copy, but I got the sort of abridged version, which has no good text. Oh, yes. Now, if I, excuse me, if I may show the, the um, yes, there it is. Now, that is the old barracks. Yes. We used to play there as kids and have concerts and all sorts yes. of things. And uh, we have one somewhere, but just where it is, I do not know. A uh, photograph, Dad, just I suppose I was young, I didn't realise it, took it into his head to have a photograph of us taken out there. And there was my mother, and I should admit that maybe he put my nightdress over my dress as I was, mm. and I, I remember being bad-tempered about it. Yes. And then, then there was you, there was Madge, and then <coughs> Dad in the middle, and I suppose it was his idea, and he had a rifle, and he was very like that, yes. you see. And then there was Hilda, 
nervous as to the one that died. Mm. And it was taken in front of this. Where did you find it? A rifle? From one of the soldiers? Well, you? no. He might have done, I don't know. But he did use to do a bit of shooting, though, didn't he, man? He was in the sanatorium. He used to do a bit of shooting with rabbits and things like that, you know. Yes. Just an ordinary rifle, it wasn't a soft rifle. Who took the the photograph? Was it somebody in red? Oh, yes, I can't remember who took it. When the woman's the photograph taken then? Some time after? Oh, yes, a good bit after it. I took it into a few To make it look, yes, that's right. Just to make it look rather. Yes. You know, he just put it in, into his head, I don't know. But that breach in the wall, I saw that. We hit that. That's the barracks, isn't it? Yeah. Did the barracks... Uh, no, no. Fantastic. No, that's the, the other side. That's the breach in the wall. The Barbican gates were this way, you see. Is that the barracks there, though? That, oh, sorry, that will be the barracks, yes. Yes, that's the barracks. That's the barracks. Yeah. And the that barbing gates are this way. And up here there's a beacon. I think it's still up there, isn't it? That beacon. I think so. Mm. On the wall. Beacon yeah. up on top of all. Yeah, a bit of history attached to it. Yes. Mm. Of course, the, what is it? I don't have it now. With a wooden it, isn't it? Mm. But they, they had a, a, that was the care they lived in the house. Department of Environment doing that bit. Pardon? The, the, who, who runs it now? Is it the Department of Environment? So. I don't know. I can't remember who runs it. Yes, it was good then. Mm. Well, it did then, but the corporation had it on a lease, you see. Yes, I see. Mm. Did the um, barracks catch fire? No, they no. bombarded it. It just... Just... Uh, I just... Mm. Well, you see, mm. that, that is the original picture. There's no doubt about that. Were there any fires started in the town? I don't Do think so. The Grand Hotel, of course, was hit very oh, yes. badly. Mm. And there's another one at the castle. Yes. In the breaches, yes. but I saw that actually happen. It went up in flames because they were firing the noise. Yes. Oh dear, the noise! And all the time we were running down the hill, we were like, you feel them whizzing all the You just felt, you know, you know mm-hmm. you're going yeah. to get it that very second. Mm-hmm. Yes. But there's lots of breaches. It's Michael Street, isn't it? Uh, yes. Yes, it is one of those things. The Grand Hotel had it very badly, didn't it? Mm-hmm. Do you remember the Coast Guards? Oh, uh, yes. Uh, yes. Sorry, do you remember the, the Boy Scouts who used to help the Coast Guards? Oh, yes. What did they do? Well, the um, Grahams, it was called the Graham School. Well, I suppose you used to learn sort of mm-hmm. different things, you know. It was, it was called what? Was it? Mm-hmm. Um, I think it's, it's just still there, isn't it? The Grahams. The Grahams? Mm-hmm. Yes. Just down here. And the, what, the Boy Scouts came from there? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Some of them. Well, not Boy Scouts. The, the, the Sea Scouts. The Sea Scouts. Mm-hmm. The sea scouts. Oh, yes. Sea yes. Scouts. That's right. Yes. Yes, I, I thought they must have been Sea Scouts, <coughs> but uh, a lot of people just called them Boy Scouts. I don't suppose yes, they... Yes, the Sea Scouts. There seems to be a lot of damage done, but they're sort of not... Um, Firing. That's, that's Dunolly, isn't it? Yes, oh, Dunolly, yes. It's because the postman was killed, wasn't he? He was killed. Yes, the postman and the maid mm. were handing, he was handing the letters to them, they were both killed. Mm. Mm. Did you go into the town to see the guy? Oh, mm. later, but yeah. Well, I suppose so when you got back from Leeds. Yeah, when you got back home. Yes. Yeah. 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 If anything, my auntie um, was the beast in, in Leeds. We didn't arrive until very, very late at night. I don't know what time we set off, but we set off late. And we didn't arrive until it was dark, and I was late, she was in bed. And she, we knocked on the door, hammered on the door, and she put her head out of the bedroom window and opened the door. And of course, in those days, the old fashioned day, she always used to wear one of those little little night caps, the fur ones, yes. you know. And she said, I expected you. I didn't know when, but I knew you'd be coming. <laughs> Why well, has he heard about the bombardment? Yes. Oh, yes. yes. Mm. That was the next day we went. Mm. And that was the house, of course, our house that we lived. And funny thing, it never got a direct hit, you see, but mm. it must have been shrapnel that caught my, from the castle. Yes. 
which the castle wall was above my, where I slept. Mm. So it must have been flying shrapnel that fell and yes. collected loads of shrapnel. She said, oh, loads. What did you do with it? Goodness knows what they had. in the museum. It was in the museum, it wasn't mm. in the museum. Mrs. The museum at Mrs. Caroline at the Albion, of course, she is dead now. And she had a, a big clock, sort of, maybe she had it all. Did you? Mm. Yes. That's, that's one that's there. Well, it's so good. Yes. Well, I don't think what you'll find this anywhere. Just the blue chair, wasn't it? The boat. Mm. The blue uh, Yes, it was. It was sunk. Yes. Some time after. I think the blue one was one of the ones that actually went to Harpycorn. Well, it came. Yes. Yes. I, I saw the boat. Did you? Oh, you could see them, you see them the right. Yes. How close did it go? Well, when this close. before they started to fire, it was foggy, mm. and then the fog lifted. Well, and you could see them broadside. The, the fog lifted while they were firing. Yes. Ages. And you could see the boat broadside. Yes. Yet I saw the light leave the ship. The flashes of the guns. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And you cooking some fish mm. in a big pan on the fire, and all the soot came all down. All the bricks and soot came and down, pans up on it. Mm. <laughs> I don't know whether they were lightened or not. But did you, did you see the ships go down the bay and turn? Because well, I they look they still. Did. Actually, <coughs> they look still to me. Yes. Because they didn't stand and gaze. No. no. Sorry, <laughs> it's sort of just. Yeah. Um, but they, they, they looked still, which they, I guess. Well, they this was just. Well, not just, yeah, just very off. close to the castle. Very close. To, uh, actually, they were just near the in the bay. In the bay, just there. Were they um, sort of over in the bay, or were they sort of this end of the bay near the castle? This oh. end of the bay near the castle. Looking, looking from here now. You could well, it would be further on that way mm. towards the castle, but not much further. But standing off the castle rather than off the town. Oh yes, mm. you're right. Yeah, you could mm. see them, but I saw yes. the I only saw the one, mind you. Didn't stop to look for any more. <laughs> oh, my eye. Well, I, the Coast Guard actually... Um, you smoke? No, I don't. I don't know if you do. Yes, I do. <laughs> uh, the Coast Guard gave evidence at the inquest that they were, I think, 500 yards off the castle when they I came guess, around, I guess so. they which were, uh, yes. was very mm. close. Yes. It, they were very close. Very yes. so, Very, very close indeed. I'm surprised it was in the beach or on ground or something. But again, that was their house with a direct hit, wasn't it? And it went over. You, I don't know how long, mm -hmm. I can't remember. But outside, my father had <coughs> a postcard stall. Yes. And uh, this, he sold, these were what he sold. Yes. And, um, at one time, they they invited so many German doctors. Yes. Do you know that? Yes. That do, do you remember them coming? Yes, I was certain with postcards. Yes. Yes, what and did the people think of And they bought loads. That was before the bombardment. Yes. What did people think of them? Were they suspicious? Well, uh, no, I don't think there was any suspicion. There may have been since, because it was before the, before the um, the war, you see. Mm. I don't suppose. Yes, there's, uh, I think the Scarborough Pictorial had a thing about the, uh, were these German spies? Oh, well, that's what we thought mm. when the war, when the war eventually yes. happened. That's what we thought. I can see one now that struck me rather forcibly. He had a point, long pointed beard, you know. <coughs> and I thought then, of course, he's old. Perhaps he wasn't, but. Yes. Do you remember the, the people in the Red House who were over by the wireless station? Who oh, were, no. Who were thought to be spies? Oh, yes. no. I didn't know them. I knew of mm. it. That was it, wasn't it? Uh, yes, I think so. But yeah, yeah. they were thought to have been spies, weren't they? Do you remember that? Yes, I do. Yes. Mm. Because they moved out the day before, I think. Mm. That's right. Yes. 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 But I can just feel, as I'm talking to you now, and every time I think of it, I can just, it feels as if it was only yesterday, mm. and yet mm. I'm so many years older. Yes. Strange, isn't it? Yes. Well, it must have been a terrifying experience. Oh, it was dreadful. See, it was so sudden. Mm. Terrible. See, you were in bed, it was only, you weren't, but uh, I wasn't. No. Hilda, the Coast Guard 
ran over into the house and said, Peggy, I've got my father's surname. Who is so? They just, the Germans are here. My father said, I heard that when I was a lad. It was the same when he was a boy. And just as he said that, terrific explosion. See, we thought we were going to land at the time. Yes. What did he mean I heard that when I was a, a lad? It used to be a saying when my father was a boy. Yes. The Germans are coming. Yes. Didn't he believe it then? No, he didn't believe <laughs> it until the explosion. Yes. And then he did. I should think he did, yes. yes. It hit the concussion or the shaking. It shook the chimney pot and it all came down yes. on the frying pan. My father was cooking at the time. You were cooking, you mean? Well, father and I, but uh, father was leaning over the fireplace and all the bricks and soot came down, you know. Yes. And of course, we never got any breakfast. Well, the, the castle was one of the first places to be hit, was it? I wouldn't know that. No, I wouldn't know that. I wouldn't know that. I've never seen any I reading. I think it was. I've never seen because any Because I'd heard no... But no sound of um, shoot of bombing before mm. until he said the German. He said yes. He said the German was here, and as he said that, oh, well, the, all uh, the noise was dreadful. Yes, I, I've been trying to find out where, where they fire that first. I think it was the castle. From what you were saying. Oh, there's a phone. Excuse me. Oh, I think it would be the castle. Yes. Mm. Well, it's so prominent. Oh, yes. They, they, they would yes. take that first. Oh, it was terrible. And as we came down the road, all of us, the the bombs of the, the shells. shells over our head, you know. Mm. You, you think they were going to hit you in the back of the neck. And we met a poor little boy, I should think he'd be no more than 10 or 12, tied on the ladder of being killed and boy scouts yes. and we were t taking him away, you know, and being killed. Tied on a ladder? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm Yes, we tied on a ladder and we were carrying the ladder. And yes. And then, that was terrible. Terrible, yes. Mm. And I, you, you met Mr. Merriweather as well, whose wife was also... Yes, yes, that's right, yeah. at Bottom Top Red Road. Mm. Yes, his wife was killed. And then there was a, a postman and a maid. She, the postman was handing the maid the letters at a South Cliff. Mm. And they were both killed on the doorstep. Yes. They were both killed at once. Mm. Oh, I was looking for those papers. They say you have them here. Oh, well, yes, your sister loved these some papers. Oh, yes, <coughs> oh, well, you'll have seen them. Yes, which are they? They're all the same. Um, Miss Arthur, could I possibly borrow one of those? Because somebody, somebody lent me the top one, but as oh. I say, I bought one of these, and mine hasn't got any of any of the text in. I was rather peeved about that because I think I I was so a little bit. Well, excuse me, I must have a little girl. Yeah. Little Good. Yes, that's my granddaughter. Uh, okay. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, yes, um, my sister's expecting me at the moment. Oh, is she? Yes, and, um, and my sister-in-law, so oh, I'm going to be an uncle again. But, oh. uh, anyway, really? <laughs> back to business. D one other thing. Uh, do you remember the um, submarine that bombarded Yes, Starbucks? very much, very well. Do you? Yes. Can you tell me anything about that? Because I don't know anything yes. about that. that and the funny thing, um, my father uh, remarried, yes. and um, <coughs> he used to go and his lady friend did that house he did. Yes. And um, I remember, I can't remember the time though. The date? Of the date. But it could be in the paper. Yes, I think it was sometime in 1917. Mm. Wasn't it? And the, um, the Rosen Crown Hotel that's there now, uh, right in the middle of the road, there was a terrific, oh, a terrific uh, hole, you know, mm. what is another term for it, isn't there? Crater. Crater, yeah, oh, terrific. And um, um, my father's uh, fiancé at the time, 
she came dashing up later on, it was light, came dashing up, she'd heard a pickup of being killed. And mm -hmm. that was his name, of course, because he wasn't going out that night. And she heard this and she came dashing up. But I remember it very well, but it wasn't her mm -hmm. Did you see seven years ago? No. No, I didn't see that. Because mm. it was seven years so yes. ago. No. What happened to Scarborough during the war? Did any um, ships operate from here? Did they have minesweepers or anything? Oh, yes, they had minesweepers. Oh, yes, they had mm -hmm. those. Mm -hmm. And we used to see all the convoys. Yeah. Oh, terrific convoys. Because mm -hmm. yeah. the coastal shipping lanes are very yes, busy here. Yes, yes. Terrific convoys. It used to be a sight. Mm. What we saw one ship, I remember seeing it. Uh, we saw, we heard a, 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 an explosion at one end of the castle, and we went out wondering what it was, because it was only just the one. And I saw this ship, and it was like that, and it just turned like that, like that, and it just mm -hmm. completely so much. Yes. When was that? Do you remember? That was during the war. Because uh, there were a lot of mines laid. Mm, oh, yes, fine, yes, and here, all round here. Yes. And that was After what the bomber broke. During the bomber, but I can't time. remember actually what kind of boat, but it was a cargo boat mm. or something to say that. Yes, and then there was the Row Heather at Whitby, wasn't there? Yes, yes. What would Scarborough be like at that time, out of, <coughs> out of season in the winter? Um, there wouldn't be many people like this. Oh no, it's terrible collapses yeah. now. Well, of course, it's busy, it really is a bit busier now because of the more business firms bought places yes. and things like that. But at that time, it was a very quiet place. Really. Did it rely more on fishing then than it does? Uh, no, visitors, visitors. always visitors. Mm -hmm. Always visitors, yes. So the fishing has all for a long time. Well, mind you, the fishing industry has been a very big thing. We used to have mm. the uh, the uh, what they call them, those herring, Scotch, Scottish girls, Scotch fish girls, and they used to come down yeah. to the piers, mm. Scotch women, you know, all in those sedars and the galea, and they all used to be in pubs and we used to do fishing. It used to interest all the visitors, you see, yes. and that sort of thing. Was but they were very well known. Yes. Well, they, they followed the herring fleet. Yes. Yes. Was the, the castle open to visitors oh, uh, yes. during the war? Oh, yes. So that... Um, they paid admission in the box. Yes. So it would still be open at, at this time of the year? Yes. Oh, yes. yes. So not yes. the year round. Not year round. Mm -hmm. I saw in one of the papers locally just now the custodian's retiring. Oh. The one that's been there, I don't know if they go out. Yes, a lot of the shells that were aimed at the castle, I think, went over, didn't they? Oh, they would do. And hit um, buildings mm. behind. Yes, they went yeah. onto Hartlepool or Hartlepool from here. No, no but, but what you mean the what? shells? Sorry, the shells passed over the castle. And oh, yes, into, into, into the town. The town yeah. oh, but yes. it seemed so strange that uh, we never got a direct, the house never mm. got a direct. It was field. still near. Oh, we had a nanny boat as well yes. in the field, and it was on a iron pole, you know, and a long... A donkey? No, a nanny. We had oh, a, a nanny as well. Yes. And um, mm. it was a long iron pole stuck into the ground. It had a long lead, or oh, a terrific long lead. And it had run round and round and round and round and round. And it had nearly strangled us. <laughs> 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 it's yeah. very bad. Mm. Yes, it was. But poor Doc Topsy, she only did a donkey. Mm. Dad mm. got it for a pet for us, you see. Yes. And... Uh, it was caught right in the centre of the battle with a piece of shrapnel. Mm -hmm. And it had the common sense to run through the garden and into the house. Had you left the door open? Uh, it must have been. Mm -hmm. And uh, <coughs> the room, if I may explain, it had a huge wall and two, one window there and another window there. And there was a, you know, we had a big settee across yes. there. And it had come in and it was standing in the middle standing in the middle of the, you know, sort of out of, yes. as, it, as if it might have known, you know, yes. just standing over. 
But the house was fairly badly damaged, was it? I mean, the roof. My bedroom. Yes. Yeah. And you just saved me about it. Never got it erected, you see. And all on mm. my pillow was my pillow. Mm. All um, shrapnel and pieces yes. of brick and stuff and dirt, all dirt from the roof. Yes. Presumably they were too close to. Uh, they well, were. Yes. I've always thought that. They mm. were too close. The, the, the shells seemed to come up and over. Yes. You know, instead of going direct, they sort of up and over. Yes. Mm. I think that may, I mean, may be one of the reasons why they hit the back of the town and mm. the south cliff mm. um, and perhaps missed some of the houses down maybe there wasn't any damage down here was there? no not at all because no, uh, the Scarborough is a sort of basin isn't it so if you yes, if yes. the shells pass over they yes. will perhaps miss the centre of the yes. but they don't seem to have been aiming for anything uh, in particular no well there was nothing to aim for actually in I have I have heard I've heard it said that they aim for the um, the wireless Hi, station. The wireless oh station. yes, it did. Yes, but uh, they didn't hit it. No, no. they didn't. No. I also reading last night that um, they claimed that they had hit. Um, <coughs> well, they hit the Coast Guard station and also the waterworks. I don't know what the waterworks was. Yeah. It's on Seymour Road, I don't know what it is. Road, up in that direction. There is another waterworks in, uh, is it Clayton Bay? Maybe. It's supposed to be on the side. But it was, I was uh, surprised that they claimed to have hit a waterworks. I don't know no. if they know that. Maybe just a inspire or something. I don't know. Of course, at Scarborough, there were no guns. But at, at the Hubbardville, there were. Um, Two batteries of guns, mm. three guns. Yes, yes. And I think that's why people tend to mm. talk about the Scarborough bombardment because mm. uh, the Hartlepools was a, this was a military target. They were mm -hmm. perhaps justified in showing Probably, that. Probably, yes. But there's nothing at Scarborough. No, I, I don't know anything at Scarborough. Mm. No. Were there any soldiers been hit? Have there been in the town at the time? Or the oh men? yes. Oh yes, there were quite a, quite a lot. Because I, I heard the officers were staying in the Crown Hotel. Would have been, yes, yes, they'd be in hotels. Mm -hmm. Yes, so they'd have been. But the soldiers were just visited just in. Just those that could <coughs> take them. Of course, yes. the castle, I suppose, thought they did. They, ha they had to take them. Mm. Yes. Had to take them. What were they guarding in the town? What, which places did well, they Well, you go have to them? go two at a time round the Marine Drive. And two up and down the castle hill, yeah, trolling, and if yeah. anybody um, suspicious, just the whole two roads there. We had to give the countersign. Yes, if we yeah. went down, we went up and down. We had to them? give the countersign. Oh yes, oh, you have to. There was a sentry box, you see, not far away from the yeah. gates. And if we were out or anything like that, we had to bang on the gate, and uh, they'd come and say, "Halt! Who goes there?" Yes. Yeah. And we used to say, give it as countersign, but of course they used to tell us. Oh, well, I used to have it being the elder one. Yes. <laughs> well, I had it because I remember doing <laughs> it as well. Because oh, I it? am the youngest in yes. the family. I'm the youngest. I'm old, but I'm not really the youngest. <laughs> oh, what kind of countersign was it? What's the well, thing? I'm afraid I couldn't just remember the names, but they were sort of. Queer, you know, just sort of unusual names. Or yes, mm. but words. of course, you see, eventually they, they knew us. Yes. So uh, they used to say it to me. Maybe <laughs> yes. And I got very friendly with one of them. He was a Scottish gentleman, and because uh, I was only young, and he used to teach me Morse. Yes. You know Morse code. Morse code. Yeah. Yes. And uh, McGrath, I called him. But none of the soldiers around did in the bottom. No. Not ours. None of ours. I think one territorial was hit at the power station down. Probably. Mm. I think it was in the middle of it. But it was very funny. Uh, my uh, sister that died, that's recently died, um, my brother was in the army. Well, when it was one of his coats that he hadn't been in, it was rather. It struck me forcibly, I, I can just see it now, um, 
was a, a big, long, thick coat, you know. And it had a long vent in those days, a long vent right down the back. Mm. She dragged this from somewhere, and every time she ran, a leg, a white leg bobbed out. <laughs> <laughs> and I came up and had a little mm. laugh since, you know. Well, thank you very much for coming. Well, I don't know whether I've helped you or not, but I, 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 oh, I, I think so. I've told you all the details. Yes. Well, one of the things is, <coughs> um, <coughs> was the guard tightened at all after the bombardment? Did they uh, allow it more closely or move more soldiers into the town? They would do, they did do, yes. yes. They kept them yes, they locked did. in gates, locked, always locked. Is and that then, is that after the bombardment or before as well? After the bombardment. Mm -hmm. And then they're they always locked now, but because they say it's it's in Britain, the corporation had it then, you see. As yeah. you were coming up the first hill, halt who goes there. Yes. I had to say train. That's <laughs> very <laughs> big look out to sign. But I'll never forget this policeman, PC Hunter, he's dead now. He was, he, crawling he was crawling up as... Crawling on his stomach. Mm -hmm. He was crawling up as you were going down. As we were running down, but he was up coming on duty, so he had to. We used to go? take it in turns, you see, like we do. Who, who did? The police. Well, it was, was always a policeman with the um, with ghost, ghost guard. Mm -hmm. In the little... It was only a tiny little place. Mm -hmm. Very, very tiny. So you'd have, the, 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 you'd the, have the coast guards and the police and the soldiers? Yes, yes. It was always a police yeah. in Hancock. It would be his turn to come on duty, I suppose. He, he got as far as, the, as so far when it took him unawares, you see. He was crawling on his stomach, he says, keep moving, keep yeah. moving. Because you didn't know where you were, really. You, you, you were all panicking, actually. Mm -hmm. We were meeting people from every corner of the street, running anywhere. They were just running, you know, ad lib, sort of didn't know where to go, what to do. Because I suppose as they thought, if it hit the house, it would, you know, they killed him. Yes. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for... Well, I don't know whether I've helped I you think you have. And thanks very much for the... Uh